As regular viewers know, I don't shy away from stories about election fraud. We've covered cases of election fraud numerous times on this show. But the next story is about what happens when false claims of election fraud metastasize. A county commission in New Mexico has been refusing to certify the June 7th primary elections, not because there's any evidence of voter fraud, not because there was anything wrong, but just because they have unspecified concerns about the voting machines that were used. It's hard to effectively run a democracy that way. The Otero County Commission is responsible for certifying election results as part of its role as a county canvassing board. They have until Friday to certify election results, but the three commissioners have unanimously refused to do so because they apparently don't trust the Dominion voting machines that were used. This is Commissioner Vicki Marquardt. I have huge concerns with these voting machines. I really do. I don't, I just don't in my heart think that they can't be manipulated. In her heart? These voting machines have been so thoroughly examined and re-examined and all the nonsensical claims about voter manipulation have been debunked. Just Google Dominion Voting Machines Fraud Fact Check. It's all there. And yet another commissioner, Coy Griffin, founder of Cowboys for Trump, isn't offering any specifics, just big picture concerns, saying, quote, it all simmers down to trust. And right now, and I think I can speak for my other commissioners, we have a big issue with trust right now. Well, I believe that's true, but only because they aren't paying attention to the facts. The three-person commission voted unanimously last week to recount primary ballots by hand, which it seems they don't even have the power to do at this point. Under state law, county canvas boards can only call on a voting precinct board to address specific discrepancies in the vote tally. But the Otero Commission didn't even identify any specific inconsistencies with the vote. Yesterday, New Mexico's Secretary of State asked the state Supreme Court to order the Otero County Commission to certify the results of the elections, which the court did just hours ago. And so the question now is going to be, what are they going to do now that a court has ordered them to certify? The attacks on Dominion systems have led the company to file defamation lawsuits in response to false claims made by allies of former President Trump that the machines were hacked to change votes in favor of President Biden. But New Mexico uses paper ballots that can be double-checked later in all elections. The state's election results are also audited by random samplings to verify levels of accuracy in the vote count. President Trump won Otero County by more than 25% in 2020, yet in January the commission ordered an audit of their vote tally anyway. One of the groups involved in the audit, quote, found no election fraud during its review. One member of this commission, the Cowboys for Trump founder, Coy Griffin, was convicted earlier this year for illegally entering restricted U.S. Capitol grounds, though not the building itself, during the January 6th riot. He's scheduled to be sentenced later this week. And during a May 2020 Cowboys for Trump rally, he said this. I've come to a place where I've come to the conclusion that the only good Democrat is a dead Democrat. <laughs> Griffin later claimed he meant a political death, but imagine if one of the lefty Democrats had said that about the other side. Look, I've said it once, I'll say it again. There are real cases of verified election fraud. It wasn't widespread, but prosecutors are doing their best to bring those election fraudsters to justice. They should. It matters. But facts matter, too. And these Otero County commissioners don't seem to understand that. I don't care who won or lost these primaries. But there's been no credible evidence, zero, of fraud with these Dominion voting machines. So where do things go from here? What happens if they refuse the court order to certify? We're joined by Gabriel Sanchez, executive director of the University of New Mexico Center for Social Policy. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right, so what happens now? You know, thanks for covering this story out here in New Mexico. I mean, if they continue to refuse and state law says they have until the end of the week, the 17th, to certify the election results, it essentially goes to the courts. And I believe it would be a district judge who would essentially step in and officially certify the results and the Secretary of State's office for formal certification. So I think that's where we're headed, uh, given that they appear to just basically say, despite what everybody says, including our Supreme Court, we're going to dig our heels in and refuse to certify the election results. Wait, so, so if they refuse to abide by the court order, you're saying it would go back to another court, a lower court, and that court would then have the power to certify the election 
over the objection of the commissioners? That's what it appears to be. And in fact, the Republican county clerk for that county informed them of that uh, when they took their unanimous vote to essentially not certify the results. She said, look, if you do that, they're going to happen anyway. A judge will step in and do it for you. So they're well aware of that, uh, but decided to take their unanimous vote against certification anyway. Did, did they warn the public that they were not going to certify the election because of the concerns about the voting machines? Meaning it wasn't a surprise that they used the Dominion voting machines. Everyone knew those were going to be the voting machines that were going to be used. Did these commissioners tell people ahead of time, by the way, because you're using Dominion, we're not going to certify? No, not until really recently, after the primary, did you hear any of these conversations, which is part of the problem, right? If you had strong concerns about any of the process, uh, you cite them well in advance and, you know, give the Secretary of State's office an opportunity to look into it. Uh, but that's not what happened. And in fact, have no evidence whatsoever of any particular issue of fraud, any irregularity, any particular race that they're concerned with. It's just, as you noted at the front, concerns about the voting machines, period. And that speculation is all that they have uh, to take the aggressive actions that they have in this county. And, and let's be clear, we're not talking about not certifying you know, the Democrats, or this isn't a political issue, it's everything, right? It's the Republican primaries, it's a lot of the local elections, it's the Democrats, it's all of the primaries that occurred in New Mexico in this county. That's exactly right. No particular race, no particular issue. And it's important to note that in this primary in New Mexico, the most interesting race was the Republican primary for governor. So it impacts that outcome as well. Uh, so it really is a head scratcher it leads you to believe that this is much more about just continuing the narrative that we can't trust election systems, that 2020 was stolen, et cetera. And, and unfortunately, leading to a lot of concern across our state, I'm hearing about the integrity of our voting system. So it's much more about smoke than fire. Well, and the reason I thought this story was important to do was this was not just talk, right? This was not just, well, people are raising issues. This was literally county commissioners refusing to act based on that. And that's why I thought that this was this came to a different level uh, than some of the other you know, stories you hear in the left leaning media all the time. Gabriel Sanchez, thank you so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot for having me. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.